Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I was sent a link of a trick which was on Penantella Fools by my good mate Trinity. Yeah, he wanted to know if I could figure out how the trick was done. So I figured out how the trick was done, and I'm going to show you part of the trick. I'm not going to go the full way in the trick as what the fella did, because obviously it's his effect. But the first part is pretty easy enough for people to work out if you that way inclined as I seem to be. So I'll show you the first part of the trick, right? I am using a normal standard red pack of bicycle cards, right? If I turn the cards over you will see that these are actually a completely shuffled pack of red bicycle cards, right? You will also notice if I turn the pack just this way that they are actually marked cards, yeah. You can't make much sense out of the mark at the moment, because at the moment it just looks like a barcode, which you cannot read. I will now try and help you read it. Because what I'm going to do is a thing called an unshuffle. I just had a shuffled packet. I am now going to attempt to do an unshuffle. And during this unshuffle, what I'm going to do is actually put the cards from being in a messed up order into the four suits. As you can see, if I show you the packet, it now says unshuffled four times. That tells me that they are now all in suits, right? I can take it a step further. If I take the packet again and give it another unshuffle, I should now be able to get it from being all in suits to being all odds and evens. And if I push the packet together, you should now see that it actually says unshuffled twice. That again tells me that I have now got them all odds and evens. I will take it a step further. If I take the packet again and give it another unshuffle, and we will wait to see what it actually says this time. I will push them together. Now if you have a little look at the side. It now says unshuffled, but it's only saying it the once. So that actually tells me that I have now actually unshuffled the packet. As you can see, once I spread them out, the packet is now completely unshuffled. Yes. He did take it a little bit further. I will just do this a little bit further bit, just because I'm feeling pretty generous. If I take the packet again and I give them another unshuffle, just like a so, I should now be able to get it from being like that. I mean, obviously, it doesn't say nothing now because I haven't done this the way the fella did in the trick, which I said I wasn't going to do. But if I now spread the packet out, we'll see that I should now have all the reds and all the blacks completely separated. And there you go, Trinity. There's most of the trick. I haven't included the other steps that he's put in with the other little bits of, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah? But there you go. Figure it out, fella. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope everybody enjoyed it, not just Trinity. Forget Trinity now. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Trinity gets a lot of shout-outs. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.